Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Avatars for Microsoft Teams give you that much needed camera break while still allowing you to collaborate effectively. Why should you use an avatar in a Teams meeting? Sometimes you don't want to appear for any reason, but you can always provide the feeling to the meeting's participants that you are there using your avatar. You can add a new layer of choice to your meetings and represent yourself the way you want with customizable avatars and reactions. Save up to three avatars for different meeting types, such as casual, professional, and day-to-day. -day. All right, let's get started. Here we go in Microsoft Teams. The very first thing to do if you want to deal with your avatar in Microsoft Teams is to install the proper app. To do that, I'm going to click on the icon Apps in the left rail of Microsoft Teams. In the search, I'm going to type Avatars. The Avatars app provided by Microsoft shows up. Now I can click on this app and then I can click on Add. All right, this is the welcome page that you can see the first time that you install the app. If you click on Get Started, then the tutorial starts. And you can pick up and select some template that you can find here. This is useful if you find some similarity. It's pretty easy then uh, adjust and change. All right, now let me start from scratch. I'm going to create my avatar. And voila, I created a couple of avatars, one for day-to-day -day and another one for professional situation. I'm going to create the third one as Microsoft suggests. It's good if you can create different avatars so you can cover different situation in your meeting. You can have a day-to-day -day avatar, a professional and then a casual avatar. According to the Teams meeting, then you can set the avatar that you want. If you don't see this app, ask to your admin to enable it or why it is turned off for your organization. Now I'm going to click here on the plus button to create a new avatar. Very important is the functionality to duplicate your avatar. This is incredible useful because if you have created the first one and if you find yourself very similar to your face, it's good that you have the same face for every avatar. So I'm going to duplicate now this avatar and then I'm going to click on customize. So let me start from the beginning so I can show you all functionality that you have in order to create your avatar. All right, in the first tab we have the body and here basically you can set your body shape. For every characteristic you have the ability to click on this icon which is similar to a filter but if you click on it then you are really able to touch every aspect of the avatar you can set your frame abdomen muscles waist and busts it's pretty pretty cool you can do a lot of customization, not only with the body, but with all other aspects of your avatar. Now let me click on prosthetic. Let's say that this body shape is fine. And then the skin tone, this is also important, represents your skin, of course, and then the face. Now here you have a bunch of templates. You can start from these templates or as I mentioned before, you can click on this icon and then you can configure every single aspect of your face. So you can change the head width, for example, the head length, the head depth, the cranium, cranium width, cranium height. If you click on the right, you have the jaw width, chin height, a lot of aspects, chin bone width, you see, you can set many, many options so you can find really the face that it's, uh, it's fit your real face. It's important that you spend time here because once you have properly customized and set up your face and your avatar, then you can duplicate it so you don't need to spend time again to reset all these things. Here I have eyes. As always, for every aspect 
of your avatar you can select a template if you want it is this if this is very similar to you or you can always click on the customizable icon and here you can set a lot of things shape with bottom lid epicantic fold eye sides so if you click uh, if you move this slider you can see that high sides change then let's go again on uh, face there is nose mouth ears a lot of things as you can see then if you if you have some hearing aids and so on then hair let's go with the hairstyle here you have the color palette here you can select the color of your hair and then you can also filter you can uh, set short hair long hair let's say short hair and then you can start using something for me it's pretty pretty simple because i am bald let's move with the with the next one which is eyebrow as always i can set and pick up a template you can make some test and then when you decided you can click on the button save or you can go back you can undo your last change now it's time to go on appearance and here this is i don't need to spend time here luckily <laughs> but of course you can uh, set your uh, makeup so high shadow blush lipstick eyeliner eyelashes face lines and you have even bindi okay let's move on with the wardrobe and this is the part that i'm going to touch i'm going to set a casual dress you have a under layer if you want to use it or you can go directly with the outer wear so i can go back and you can set this if you want to make visible the under layer for example if you set this the other wear of course this will overlap the under layer now let me set one let me see if i found something really cool that i can use for my casual i'm going to use under layer it's fine to have this one and let's stay with this t-shirt it's fine then i have the ability to set an headwear so let me let me see something uh, if i can find some hat with the wheel of your mouse you can change the the zoom of your avatar and now let's select and pick up a nice hat so let's go with this one it's fine okay then let's go in eyewear if you want you can also wear glasses i don't have you can set also the color let me let me show you what kind of possibility you have here as you can see you can change the color of your glasses now let me go back i can undo this uh, this change okay it's pretty nice and good to go i can save my last avatar now i have a day-to-day -day avatar my professional avatar and my casual avatar so i can cover every kind of situation in my teams meeting so now that i set up my avatar in microsoft teams it's time to join a meeting and let's see my avatar how will looks like now here i'm going to join this meeting on the right we can see a microsoft teams instance impersonating adele events now here as giuliano i will join this meeting and let me show you now what you can do to set your avatar first of all i'm going to turn off my microphone and then i'm going to click on the link effects and avatars to set my avatar your camera has to be turned off to display your avatar here you can set one of the options that you set up before in my case i have three options i have my day-to-day -day, my professional and my casual avatar so let me join this meeting with my day-to-day and let's see let's click now on join now all right let me move now my microsoft teams on the left and here as you can see my avatar is ready 
So what I can do here is if I turn on the microphone, you will see the lips of your avatar moving because Microsoft Teams is able to figure out that you are speaking. If I do that, now you can see the lips. All right, now if we, if we want to see some, uh, some action with my avatar, what you can do is, for example, raise your hand. If you click on raise your hand, you will see your avatar raising the hand, of course. Now let me show you what else you can do. You can react and your avatar will follow you accordingly. Now let me select another one, the heart, for example, or claps, applause, or love. And then finally, we have the last one, surprise it. So as you can see, it's pretty nice and good. If you want to take your camera break, this is a nice way to use your avatar and to give to the other people and participants the feeling that you are still there, even if your camera is not turned on. All right, we have seen in this video Teams Mesh Avatars. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, and put a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this new capability. Are you going to use and set up your avatar? I hope to see you next time. Bye.